is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm Monica and today's video in my opinion is going to be a fun one because we're gonna pop over to one of the bigger thrift stores in the area where I live and we're gonna go fall wardrobe hunting this is gonna be a thrifting my fall wardrobe video and we're gonna see if I can get some in style really cute fall pieces for a lot less money than where you would get it pretty much anywhere else I myself have personally bought some like capsule like staple pieces from Hollister, Abercrombie, Altered State, etc. recently and those bills add up. So I'm in the mood to get some inexpensive, let's just say it, I'm in the mood to get some cheap clothing for the fall. I am on a mission to find not just clothes that I think are like semi-cute, but clothes that I think are super cute, 10 out of 10, and would 100% wear and will wear following me purchasing them obviously in this video. So that's what the first part of the video is going to be is we're going to be going through this thrift store and picking out items and pieces of clothing and outfits and then the second part of the video I'm going to be doing like a lookbook style sit down portion where basically I'm going to do step by step of each of the pieces slash outfits I bought and I'm going to tell you how I plan on styling them. Now I know that this thrift store averages in price from like three to six dollars sometimes we go to ten and sometimes to fifteen but most of the time when I walk out of here I get things for three to six dollars so I'm excited for this I have high hopes because I know that they carry some awesome brands I've just never walked out of here before without something in my hand so I'm really really excited to go in here and hunt down some clothes that are going to be really cute that I will actually wear and then I'm excited to show you how I'm gonna style them. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and pop into the thrift store and see what I find. This is really cute. I'm a little afraid it might be a little too small right here, but um, it is really cute and nothing like anything else I have. I am seeing a lot of name brand. Loft, Banana Republic, Hollister, Abercrombie, so I think it's gonna be a good day. So I like this, but I think it's gonna clash with my hair color. I find this color often clashes with my color blonde, so I think it's cute, but I think I'm gonna leave it for someone else. I also think this is a cute little tank top, but I think it's gonna clash with my skin color. It's coming off more taupe on camera, but it's more like a light pink. So this is really cute. I really love the color. It's from Banana Republic and it's like $3. So this is definitely a contender. Okay, this isn't necessary for this haul, but I saw this v-neck and it's got micro glitter and I actually kind of like it. Is that cheesy or out of style? Probably. I have spotted a free people top. Not really my style, but great deal for a top that still has its tags. So it is time for the haul and lookbook portion. It's obviously the next day because I'm wearing a different shirt than I was yesterday. I was planning on filming this portion with the rest of the video, but by the time I got home, it was dark outside and I wanted a little bit of natural light in here when I filmed. So I hope that is okay with you guys. But I've got the goods. We got a decent amount of stuff, but I don't think we got too much stuff. I didn't want to get too many items, but I'm really excited to show you how I would pair these with each other or I bring in, I think, one other thing from just my closet that I pair with some of these, and we'll get to that. I'm really excited. I'm gonna show you how I would style each of these. I'm gonna style some of them different ways, and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so the first thing I got is this cute little skirt. It is so flippy. I, that's how I've like described it. It's flippy, kind of got schoolgirl skirt vibes. I think these are somewhat in style. I've always kind of liked them. I think they're very flattering on a ton of different body types. And with it, I paired this white shirt I also got. It's just a long sleeve, regular white shirt. Nothing special about it except for the fact that it was $2. Uh, so that's nice. The skirt is a small, and by the way, I paid $10 for the skirt. It's a plain white 
long sleeve shirt, but it's from the Brooks brand, so it is a little bit more higher end. Definitely more of like an athletic brand, but this is not an athletic shirt. It's like a cottony material. Super comfortable. Obviously, I would wear this casually, but I thought that these two pieces look so cute together, so I paired these together with this. I would either wear like just white tennis shoes like Nike's or like some booties. I haven't found my perfect booties yet. I'm still looking, so I don't have any booties on in the try on haul portion, which I would pair booties with a lot of the things I got. I've said the word booties like a thousand times in the past like 20 seconds, but yeah, I'm still hunting for the perfect booties, but I'm thinking like closed toed booties with most of what I got, including this. I think maybe you could do open toed if you thought that looked good. I would kind of have to see it, but I do think like some like shorter, like almost Chelsea boot style booty would go nicely with this because it would be like kind of elevated, but still kind of like semi-casual and really comfortable and cute. Then I got this cute scalloped corduroy skirt. It's not a skirt, it's a skirt. It's from Altered State actually, which I love Altered State in general, but I especially love when I only pay $3 for something from Altered State. This is in a small, super cute. I think it's really flattering. I love the detail of the scallop. It's really, really cute. I love the color. And the first thing I paired with it is this shirt from H&M. I actually have never owned anything from H&M, but I thought this shirt was so cute. Can you see like the texture? I think it's really cute. I love like the holes, but you can wear a regular bra with it and it won't show through. I mean, I would wear a nude bra, but it won't show through. So you don't need to wear like an undershirt if you don't want to. I think it's really cute. I love like the collar, the v-neck vibes. I think these go so well together. I would once again wear these with booties more likely than just like Nikes. I would wear it with Nikes to like make it more casual but I think that I would definitely wear this with like some sort of booty because I think that would look really cute I'm sorry I don't have a specific booty to show you guys that I own how many times am I gonna say booty in this video <laughs> but um, I'm still on the hunt for like one that I think is really flattering on myself and one that I actually like so yeah on the hunt for that but love these two together then I found this basically heading out the door this is an altered state sweater still with the tags it's a small cropped and uh, originally, I can tell you, originally it was $70, $69.95, and I paid $11 for it. So still like up there in price for this particular thrift store, but I mean, it's a $70 sweater, so comfortable and cute. Still has the, has the tags on it. So I also paired this with the Altered State Corduroy skirt. I think it's really, really cute. And I just love the vibes of the sweater with the skirt. I think it's going to be a really big thing this fall, at least from what I've seen. And I think corduroy is a big thing, which I'm excited about because I actually really, sir, I actually really like corduroy. I know that that is really an up and down trend. Sometimes people think it's ugly. Sometimes people think it's cute. I generally think it's cute. So when it's in style, I like to wear it. So I was really excited to find this sweater still with the tags on it. Like I said, I love Altered State anyway. So the fact I got it at a discount and it hasn't even been worn is amazing. And this is one of the things that I got complimented on by the cashier. She said it was really cute. And of course I agree. And then she also complimented me on this. And so I feel like I did pretty well. And so far we're seeing like some pretty high-end stuff. Uh, we've got Brooks so far, Ultra State, and H&M isn't really high-end, but it is a brand that people typically like to buy. So when you can buy it on a discount, that is excellent. By the way, I also would wear like Chelsea booties with this as well, probably black ones because of the gray, maybe like a camel color. I'd have to see specifically, but definitely like a kind of platinum Chelsea booty, I think would be really cute with this outfit as well. And I also paired both of these tops, the Ultra State one and the H&M one uh, with a pair of jeans I already owned. I paired them with like a cropped, like skinny slash straight leg jean. Um, I think you could also pair it with baggy jean if you're into that, like a dad pant. I don't think that it needs to be a particular style jean. I think that these kind of tops pretty much go with any sort of jean. But I did want to say I pulled those jeans from my own closet. I actually thrifted these jeans 
like four weeks ago and paid seven dollars for them and have been basically living in them other than leggings uh, but yeah jeans go really well with tops like this so I paired both of these with jeans as well and I would kind of dress that down and wear just like Nikes with it like my white Nikes is probably what I would pull just because I don't think the Chelsea booties would particularly go with this kind of jean but I do think they could go with a looser fitting jean or a baggy jean so just in case you're wondering. All right, so then I've got this sweater from the brand Loft. I think that this is such a cute, like, pattern, if you can kind of call it that. I like the way it's designed. It still has the tags on it. It's never been worn. I paid $9 for this, and I also paired it with the scalloped skirt, and I really liked it with that. So the skirt has been a very versatile piece that uh, I'm really excited about. And I think it goes really nicely with pretty much any sweater. And I think it goes nicely with all the tops I got. Like the two cream colored ones were off white. And then like this very lightly multicolored sweater as well. I just think this is so cute. And I was really excited that it worked out and still had its tags on it. So I'm pretty much done with the corduroy skirt, but I've paired it with a lot of the things I got. So I'm pretty excited about that. And of course you can also pair this sweater with jeans. I have the same pair of jeans on that I had for the other two clips I showed you for the other two tops. But uh, yeah, I think this is such a cute sweater and I'm really excited that I found it. And then I have a dress after this, which is gonna be my last piece. But before that, I wanted to show you this cute like nautical shirt from Airy. I love the color. It's kind of like a an army green and I love the collar. I've been eyeing a shirt similar to this from Abercrombie, I think. And I paid $7 for this, so I was pretty excited about that. Also another well-known brand, so I feel like I did really well with the brand. So I would pair this probably with jeans, any kind of jeans. I once again have the same pair of jeans on in the clip that I'm showing you that I've had on for the other clips because that's the kind of jeans that I would probably pair with this over any other kind of jeans, but I think it would look good with baggy jeans, uh, straight leg jeans like that are like a little bit looser than the ones that I have on. Um, dad pants really any kind of jean would go with this kind of top it is so so cute so i was really excited to find that and now i don't have to splurge and get the one from abercrombie and by the way with that top and jeans i would definitely like keep it casual so like the white nikes again probably not anything dressier than that all right and then the last thing i got is actually a dress from hollister it's really cute it doesn't have the tags on it still but it's in really good condition and I love the material. I hope that's kind of coming across very, very comfortable. I love the color. I think it's very fall, kind of between like a rusty red and a rusty orange. So I think it's really, really pretty. I actually think Chelsea boots would look really good with this. I just don't know what color. I know they come in lots of different colors. You could also like pull out. I don't think that this needs like fancy, fancy shoes. I think that it's kind of a more casual number that probably needs to like stay in the middle as opposed to like wearing like super dressed up shoes. I don't think that would fit the vibe. So like something like casual booties, you could even wear like flat booties if you were interested in this. I'm wearing the white Nikes in the clip where I have this on, but I probably would not <laughs> wear those with this. It doesn't really go. I think it is so cute. And I'm excited to find shoes that I think will go really well with all of these pieces. I looked yesterday, but I didn't have any luck, so that's okay. I think I did a great job with the clothing I got, though. And honestly, I'm so pumped with the things I found. I mean, Hollister, Airy, H&M, Loft, uh, what else? Altered State. So pretty much everything I got is a name that people either know or love or both. So I'm really excited. I went to Sozo Trading Co. or company in Birmingham, Alabama. So if you live in the area, definitely go check it out. They also have like furniture, jewelry. It's basically like a warehouse of a bunch of stuff and they even have like separate booths where I guess like other vendors come in and sell their stuff. I don't know the specific details of how the booths work, but I did find some of the pieces I got in the booths, including like this dress and the altered state skirt and the other skirt. So obviously they have some really great stuff at this location. I didn't spend nearly the amount of money I spent on my recent Hollister and Abercrombie orders during the Labor Day sale, so that was a relief. I ended up returning a lot of those things anyway, so 
I guess it all balanced out. At least it did in my mind. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell down below and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I am so excited for fall and I can't wait to do more fall content and put out more fall videos for you. So I hope that you are looking forward to that as well. If you haven't checked out the rest of my channel, definitely go and do so. And just find out if you like what you see. I do vlogs. I do beauty stuff. We do an assortment of things over here and it is fun. Let me know if you guys liked this video style because I can do it again for like the spring. Maybe the summer. We'll see. I think that what I got was awesome and I love getting to thrift a fall wardrobe that I would actually wear. So I hope this inspires you to go thrifting for your fall clothing this year. Yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. But anyway, that is it for now. So I hope you guys have the best rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!